I don't have to tell you that we have learned a lot about descriptive statistics. And so I want to wrap up this set of videos talking about things we should consider when we are choosing a chart to display our data. By now, it should come as no surprise that my advice is first consider the level of measurement of your data when you choose a chart. Allow me to illustrate. Let's first consider how many variables you are trying to display. Do you have one variable or are you trying to display two variables at a time? If you have one variable, you should consider the level of measurement. Is it nominal and ordinal, which would be categorical data, or is it interval or ratio quantitative data? Remembering that quantitative is also called scale level data. If you are trying to represent two variables at the same time, are you trying to make comparisons between the data points or are you trying to explore the relationships between the variables? Let me show you what your options are depending upon your answers to these questions. These displays are used to show the distribution of categorical data. My recommendation for categorical data is to use a bar chart. You can show the frequency or the percentages for your categorical data, and you can use a Pareto option to arrange the scores in descending order to make them easier to interpret. You can create a pie chart, but you should have a very good reason for doing so and no viable alternatives. That really the only advantage that I see with pie charts is because they're a circle, they can more easily fit within a confined space, and that might be important on a poster or some other display of data. These are charts that show quantitative distributions, scale level data. The go-to graph is a histogram. It shows the shape of the quantitative data. However, there are times when you may want to use a stem and leaf display to both show the shape of the data and preserve the raw scores in your data set. Honestly, I've never used a stem and leaf diagram in a publication, but I have used them extensively for my own purposes as I am exploring my data when I get that data returned as raw data from data collection. If you want to display two variables at the same time, you should consider whether you want to make comparisons or explore relationships. To make comparisons, we have two specific types of bar charts. The stacked bar chart will show you the percent frequency or the relative frequency for your categorical data whereas the side-by-side -side bar chart allows for those comparisons using typically a binned continuous variable. To explore relationships between scale level variables, you can use a scatter plot. A scatter plot shows the relationship between these two quantitative variables. It's also called a scatter diagram. And when you create your scatter diagram, you should include a trend line or regression line to approximate the relationship of the data within the scatter plot. That more clearly shows the relationship and it can be used for prediction, which we will learn about later as we discover regression. Now you know all about descriptive statistics. You know how to describe one variable at a time or to cross tabulate two variables at a time. You know how to put descriptive statistics into numbers to add those numbers to a table or how to create graphs. You know the specific graphs that are the most commonly used and you know other options that you could employ if they were necessary for your particular data set. Next time, we're going to dig a little deeper into descriptive statistics, learning how to explore the central tendency and the variability within our data set.